Hello guys, and my name is Blue Digit, and today we're going to be playing The Intruder, but the last part, Chapter 3. Uh, this is called The End, however, I'm going to be having to play the single player, because that's all that's out, so wish me luck, guys, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you for all the love and support, and let's jump right into this, guys. So, we're going to finally do The End. We'll see how this goes. I am... I'm kind of excited for this. I am, because, like, you know, we've actually done the other ones, but obviously they're multiplayer, and, like, you know, I do feel like multiplayer experiences are a little bit more enjoyable, because it is harder to find terror within them, but when you are terrified, I, find, I feel like it's more scary because clearly the whole group is scared. So that makes it feel like the threat is actually tangible. So, yeah, I don't know, let's just, let's just try the end. I don't know, man, it's gonna be cool, it's gonna be cool, so let's hit it. I'm just, I'm nervous because this is a single player. So, that's why I'm kind of speaking the way I am. So it'll end here. I hope. Alright. My name is Henry. Now I am a victim of that monster. Oh, there's voice. What is F for flashlight? Dude, what? Wait, I can actually move in this one, like... Dude, don't even... You gotta be ki- This is a interesting mechanic. Uh, I wonder if they're going to play this out. I really hope this isn't the intruder because if it is, like, it's making me kind of laugh. It's not. It's not that. It's not even scary. Just, it feels a little bit like <gasps> holy sh. Dude, that... <laughs> it's really a little bit goofy. There we go. Okay. Nice. That is freaky. I don't... This whole thing is freaky because, like, it feels like... It feels like we're actually, like, supposed to meet him this time. And playing this, like... In a single player setting, I don't know, maybe it's just because I'm, I'm, single player games have always freak, like, freaked me out a lot. There we go. <laughs> Alright. Dude. What's that song? You got this game alone? Yeah, because it's, it's only single player for this one. Dude, no, bro. Okay. Dude, you cannot be doing this to me, bro. If I... Okay. 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 We're good. We're good. We're moving, man. We are good. We're moving. And I am not worried whatsoever, bro. I just want to say now I'm not a uh, parkour expert, so if I die here, um, it's not my. Oh, jeez, got the game in here. Oh, all right, what are we grabbing here? Place flowers. Yay! Okay. Oh, dude, I'm not gonna parkour like that. Honestly, kind of like gives me heebie-jeebies when I have to like commit myself to something like that. Oh, like that. All right, we're good. We're good. Hello, where I place flowers? Oh, it's already placed there. I see. That's good. Um, so 
Why is the music playing? Yo. Okay. If we are together, we can jump the ghost. <laughs> My point exactly. I don't think it's a ghost, but I mean, after that, maybe it is. Who knows? Dead. Oh. You're dead. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Input text. <laughs> what? <laughs> Input text. You're dead. Your family's dead. Yeah, nice. Yo, bro. What happens if I actually walk up to it? I love how you see that, and my, my first instinct is, oh yeah, I better I better place the chair for, you know, the table. That's that's exactly what that is. It's not, definitely not trying to signal sig signal something for me. No, no, no. It's, it clearly is for the table. <laughs> that's that's something, bro. That, that's definitely a little, <laughs> that's something, man. <laughs> Bob, hey. <gasps> Stop! Stop! You know, I, 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 I get... The thing is, I like cheesy games like this. I really, really do. But... Oh, there's not sure. 4A. Probably should remember these. Oh, A2. What? S1. Air... Wait, 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 wait. A2, A4, S1. Like that is a spider. Sarah. I didn't actually know that. I just assumed because, like, I, I saw the letters, and that's probably what it would be. Yo, what? What? Yo, why is there a creepy baby after me, bro? What? Why? Oh, you gotta be kidding me, bro. You're totally trapped. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get it at first. I just, I just, like... <laughs> Wait, that was so funny. It just touched you and you fell through the floor, like... <laughs> Open up. Open up. Alright, we're hiding. We're hiding from the baby, I guess. Blue's lost child coming back to haunt him. I like how it was just kind of like. Well, here's the thing that could have been orchestrated a lot better. It's just like it kind of came out of nowhere, and that's why it didn't really scare me. Like, I was literally just like, why is this baby coming after like, me? Bro, what? But. That was so stupid. Like, I do like the, the psychological horror aspects they're coming up with here, and I do think it's edgy in the, in the good ways. It's just the execution of it. Well, it, it could be better, that's all. Okay. I can't enter any of these lockers, but I feel like there's about to be a chase that ensues. What key? Your baby! Oh my god! <laughs> Am I supposed to just keep running? I can't tell. Can I hide again? No. We're just running from this baby. Yeah, I just can't. I'm just running from the baby.
Okay, I guess I don't know. I'm sorry. I think I think it needed a little bit more work. Okay. What in the world is this? Dude, this is like a Hellraiser type thing going on here with like a labyrinth or something. How do I even... <laughs> I, sh I, I clearly have to get up there somewhere like this. Yep, I have to climb up. That's how I do it. Place platter. There we go. Okay, so we finally got the platter. You see, so here's the. I, I like how they're like kind of changing up a little bit. Oh jeez, is it ready? No, it's not. Oh, that opened. Oh jeez. I kind of saw that coming. But we'll, uh, you know, keep, we'll keep playing. We'll keep seeing what's going on here. Oh my gosh, it's... It's the Antichrist! Dude, I did not like how the audio just got closer. That actually is pretty good. Dude, she wants to see more than just me again, bro. All right. I I do think the voice acting. Oh my god! <laughs> what are you giggling about? I saw it. I was like, where am I? Jesus, yeah, see, it just moves. It just moves like that. Come on, come on. No! Where are we, where are we going? Oh, we gotta loop it. This is some Dead by Daylight stuff. We gotta loop the intruder, guys. Not gonna lie, though. That, that I, don't, I don't care what anyone says. The intruder actually is like... That's, that's scary, dude. Oh, my gosh. Okay, let's go, let's go. We're, we got, we got, we got, we got. Come on, come on. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Okay, we're doing good, we're doing good. Just keep going, keep going, keep going. I gotta hide, 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 hide. So, that's why I like this a lot. That, that's why I really enjoy the intruder because, like, again, was the other monster really that well done? No. But for a Rolex game, you gotta realize the limitations of the engine. And the, why the intruder is so well done is because it is very disturbing, but it's also hard to make a good design. So, what do you do to blend in with the shadows? You make it completely black. Because uh, if. Oh my god. What in the. Yo! Dude, it turned into like an evil Giga Chad, bro. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, dude. This is like actually more epic than like any Star Wars movie I've seen. Dude, this is like Infinity War times three. <laughs> okay, that, that, that seems about right. Okay. Huh. Alright, let's keep going. Escape? Evidence for the police, or the police 
catch them, and these are in real time. I have a lot of thoughts about what just happened there. I do think it was a very... I, I do think this was a good Roblox game. Don't get me wrong. So I'm going to say that first. I do think it was very good. However, um, my issue more stems from the fact that I have a lot of issues with how it was executed towards the end. Um, first off, that baby monster I just don't think worked at all. Um, there's a reason why the intruder itself works and why a lot of indie games are the way they are. It's because not all of them, right? This is just a, a rule of thumb. You usually put all your effort, if you're doing an indie, into one monster. Because that one monster generally going to put a lot more love and care into because you don't have a lot of resources. And then that's what's going to kind of lift up the rest of your project. Um, AKA, even though I'm not a big fan of it, Huggy Wuggy from um, Poppy Playtime, right? So they didn't have any other monsters really in that first installment, but the first one is done so well and they execute it. That's all that mattered. This one, again, it's a Roblox game, but like, even though it's not insanely hard to make him, it's just the intruder, you know, it's just a black entity that obviously works very well in the shadows which like guess what most of the game is in the shadows so obviously it works except for his eyes and teeth which that's gonna disturb me because like he's there he's not just a, like a, a smile but it seems like he is and that's why it's very disturbing because when you see him you know you see him but you can't really discern anything else which i mean when you play a bit you can but like for the you know the meantime you can't and that's really what is enjoyable and cool for the last level, the problem was they started introducing these other things. And maybe it was just because I was playing single player. That might have been it. That's why we're going to watch these VHS types, uh, tapes and kind of like get an idea of what's going on for the lore. Or the lore. But um, the last one, not only straight away from their usual form formula, which I think you should have kept some. Even though I don't like playing games like this, like solo. I'm not a big fan of like FNAF style games solo all the time. I, I think a hybrid, which... I think the mall level does perfectly, where it's a hybrid where like, you gotta walk over here, look what's going on, but you still gotta look at cameras. That's perfect. I like hybrid styles. But, um, they should have done another hybrid style. What they did here was they kind of went more towards like an adventure type game, where I've seen other Robux games do very well. This, I still think it did okay, but it kind of lost what the charm of the intruder is. And I felt like some of the epic or scary moments were kind of forced and grant that's just because i'm very brutal when it comes to horror games i think a lot of horror games shouldn't really uh, if you're going to go down that route then you kind of go got to you kind of got to go all the way right um there's a game that i know does that they go all the way with the absurdity of it but it still feels so horrifying it's like okay and that's Kyo's adventure i played that game a long time ago I really enjoyed it, and a lot of times, like, these horrible acts happening, but when there is an epic event, it's like you've already seen all these crazy things happen before, so it makes sense for that to happen. In this, I would say no. Um, what I would have liked, honestly, was there to be a small segment before the night is over. Like, maybe, like, a smaller thing where you have to look at TVs while like you're going to each room while, he like, he'll come out. But it just wasn't there. So... I'm not sure he's going to introduce this as a multiplayer level, but I do enjoy this. I, I do think it was fun. I do think it was an interesting uh, level to explore, and I'm glad I at least kind of finished the uh, Mimic. I might bet, not the Mimic, the uh, Intruder. Um, I do think there could have been more done with it, but at the same time, for what it did on its own, very well done. So. Um, that's all I really want to say. We're going to watch some VHS tapes and we're going to see how this goes. So, um, I just want to say thank you. Thank you everyone that's been watching this on the YouTube. It really means a lot. Obviously, you guys are the ones that have been blowing this up on, uh, you know, the channel. And you are the reasons why the channel has been blowing up in general. So, um, if you guys want to see any more challenge videos based on this or any other horror games or any kind of videos, just seriously let me know down in the comments below because that would mean a lot to me. Um, more, the more ideas you guys want... That gives me more leverage to actually give you exactly that and for us to keep growing. So, um... I do a lot of work when it comes to researching what games will do good in Roblox. And I didn't know that I did know the intruder would do well, but I didn't know it would do this well. So um if you're watching on this Twitch or if you're also watching this later on the YouTube, just know that it means a lot to me and I'm grateful. So um yeah. So if you haven't heard it already, remember guys, smile, keep right up.
and uh, let's fight for the future so bright. You see what your eyes. My name is Blue Stand Out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Subscribe yes. to Blue Digit. What? Do it now. Hello. You are a cow. Yeah. Yeah. Subscribe to Blue Digit uh -huh. or else.